channel where we're all about leveling up, elevating, and living our absolute best lives. Today, we are here at a beautiful gem located in Bugolobi called a Sankara Pan-African Library and Cafe. <laughs> So I love this place. I was so excited. I ha like reached out. I was like, I need to shoot a video here. I feel like my platform would love it. Everything about Pan-Africanism, history, food. <laughs> what more do you need? Beautiful location. What more do you need? So a little bit about their history. They started off as a page on Instagram in 2017, 2018, and really, really grew during the pandemic. Their page on Instagram is No White Saviors. It's a page on Instagram all about informative posts about pro-black, pro-African, pro all of that. And I love it because even in the space and on their Instagram, they feature a lot of heroes and leaders throughout the times just within the pro-African movement. So enough talking, let's go check out this gorgeous space, eat a little bit, check out some bucks, have some fun. Let's go guys. So we're starting off in the hallway. Um, this is the entryway to the library and there's amazing, amazing leaders, heroic people and such within the Black and African movement. So we're gonna mention a couple, come on in. So we're starting off with Chief Awich who resisted colonialists in a Choli land. Then we have Asata Shakur, who was one of the founding members and one of the first members of the Black Liberation Army in America. Then we have Zenzil Mariam Makeba, who is also known as Mama Africa. She was an artist, an activist, a huge, huge part of the civil rights movement in South Africa. So I love how big they put her. This is such a gorgeous sketch. Followed by Bob Marley, who does not need an introduction. I feel like everybody knows who Bob Marley is. <laughs> then there's Walter Rodney, who was a Guyanese, but also American activist, politician, pan-Africanist, and all of that. Then Ruby Bridges, who also, I feel like doesn't need much of an introduction, but she was the first black students to go to a non-segregated school with bodyguards and all because yeah, the times were tough. <laughs> Lastly, on this wall, we have two more people. Marcus Garvey, a Jamaican national hero and activist. And lastly, I'm gonna butcher this, my French, it's been a while, Eb Césaire, and he's a Martitian poet, activist, and politician. So now that we're done in this wonderful, super informative hallway, let's head into the library. So there's so many lovely books here and I love how they've organized them, obviously different topics and sections. So we're starting off with the feminism section and one of the books I wanted to showcase was The Sacred Woman by Queen Afwa. This is on my list of feminism books. I'm very much into femininity and such and I know that this is one of the staple ones so I'm definitely going to come back here. Just, you know, just lay out on the grass with my Blakey and, <laughs> and read this really gorgeous book. So this is one of them. The next book that I had a little eye on was this one on decolonization and Afrofeminism by Sil Sylvia Tabale. And I thought that this would be a really interesting read. Just thought that the two subjects together would be, yeah, just good to read. I like to know about things. <laughs> As someone who's always so interested about, about our history, especially post-colonial and just I don't know, learning about us, I didn't get a lot of that while in Canada and really only whatever questions I had my parents would answer. So I really like that there's a whole section of just our history. So one of the books that I wanted to show was Studies in the History of East Africa. Thought this was really dope. So I'll definitely be coming back to check that one out. And another one I thought was pretty cool was Politics, Religion and Power in the Great Lakes Region. It's kind of sums up all the topics I'm really interested in knowing about. Next, there's a whole section on race. There's so many books obviously written about race, especially given just of our history as black people around the world. And just look at America in itself. So I just wanted to mention as a notable mention was Roots, because I think we all grew up knowing about Roots if you grew up in North America, in the West, and even in Africa too. Like, I feel like a lot of people just the series and then so you want to talk about race, I thought was pretty cool. Just I think it was eye-catching for me. So <laughs> that was one of them that is on here. 
So the next section is novels. There are some authors that I have seen and I know are on my list of to read. One of which is Ya Gyasi. So there's Homecoming, which I feel like is on a lot. I've done so much research on top books to read, like new age authors and stuff. And this was one that came up a lot. And then also, I just thought this was pretty cool. I liked the, the name of it. It's just Knights in Kampala. It looks pretty interesting. I don't know. I think it was just because of the play on the word Knights. So <laughs> um, I thought I would just mention that one. But there's so many books that are very popular in this day and age that are featured on this wall. So I think that's pretty cool that you can come and check them out. Lastly on this wall, I wanted to mention there's children's books as well. They did not leave out the little ones. And I just think it's so encouraging instead of just being on smartphones all the time and tablets. And I feel like every kid has an iPad now. It's just so nice to see when kids are reading. And the only way they'll read is if you read. So it's kind of a nice space to also come with your kids. And then books about the culture. So there's so much on this wall, which I think is pretty cool. There's a whole other wall behind me. But before I head over there, just wanted to also mention you're not able to actually take out the books to take home. I'm sure if you establish a relationship and you hear often and they know you and they know how to find you, <laughs> then I'm sure that at that point you're able to. But for now, it is such a quiet space so you're able to just lay, sit, do as you please and just relax and read and enjoy the book while being here at the library and cafe. Let's go check out the last two bookshelves. One of the sections I'm super excited about, I'm such a nerd, I love autobiographies, I like reading about people's lives. A friend of mine always makes fun of me that I literally live on Wikipedia, I'm so weird. Anyway, so on this wall you'll find various different black leaders from all over the place and also non-black, there's Che Guevara I see, there's Julius Nyerere, also Nelson Mandela, there's Malcolm X, so you'll find various different leaders and you can read about their lives and I think this is really dope that this is available. So there's a whole bunch of autobiographies for you to enjoy here in Compella. Let's go check out the last shelf. The last shelf here, something I find super important is languages. But not only languages, you have the Bible in various different languages of Uganda. But you also have dictionaries. You have an uh, English Swahili dictionary, Luganda English, um, Runyoro, Rutoro dictionary. There is Lusoga dictionary. There's an Arabic English dictionary. There's just so much going on here. So I think that's pretty dope. And then just books about languages as well. So that pretty much is the library summed up. Guys, I love learning spaces. I love spaces to just learn about our history as a people. We don't get taught as much, especially abroad, about ourselves unless you can find it on the internet and the internet is just so much going on. So it's kind of nice to kind of go back to being old school. I just love that you can come here, sit down, enjoy a book, get curled up, have a coffee, a tea or whatnot. And yeah, just enjoy your afternoon with little views of the greenery of Bugalobi. <laughs> what more do you need? Speaking of drinks such as tea and coffee, let's go check out the cafe. I'm also getting a little hungry so we can have something to eat. Moving to Africa, specifically Uganda, was really daunting with little to no information online about where to live, how to start a business, what to eat, where to hang out, all of that amazing stuff. So I figured I'd start a website where you can book um, a consultation with me and, and ask me whatever you like. Um, and then also updates based on the diaspora community that we're growing here on YouTube. So definitely go and check out the website and join the community. In the library, there are various leaders and activists featured as well. Starting off with Mukami Kimathi, a freedom fighter, wife and leader, and she joined a resistance that fought for the Kenyan independence. Next, there's Bantu Biko, apartheid leader and African socialist, um, and he was a leader at the Black Consciousness Movement. Amilcar Cabral from Guinea-Bissau. He was a diplomat, pan-Africanist, leader, poet, engineer, and was at the forefront of anti-colonialism. Franz Fanon, who was a political radical, pan-Africanist, psychologist, and Marxist. And lastly, our current president of Uganda, His Excellency, President Museveni. On the way to the cafe, there is a room full of leaders and the screening room. We'll go through the screening room in just a moment, but I just wanted to touch on a few leaders. So in the hallway, we're starting off with Maleko Mokosi. He is an artist, a painter, and a professor at Yale, and he is originally from Botswana. 
Next, there's Henry Sylvester. He was a Trinidadian lawyer and writer and amongst the very first activists in the Pan-African movement. Next, there's a Ghanaian leader on the wall and I'm sorry if I butcher his name, but his name is Otoba Kugowano and he was an abolitionist in the 1700s. As we wrap up the hallway, we're gonna head over to the security group. So we're here in the screening room. This space is meant for featuring different films and showcasing different projects. And it's really comfortable. I like that there's just big couches and such. It's really comfortable and cozy in here. You would have to follow their social media platforms in order to know what they're featuring for the month or for the week or whatever when they showcase their films in here. Before we eat and get cozy with our coffee, <laughs> um, there's three really staple people here in the hallway we need to feature. There's Patrice Lumumba, he was the first Prime Minister of the DRC. Malcolm X, who I feel like needs no introduction. <laughs> then there's Kwame Nkrumah, who was the first President of Ghana. So before we head into the finale of the cafe and getting our foods and drinks, we're just gonna check out another area, which is a podcast area. As you head up the steps behind me and to the left of Kwame Nkrumah, there is a room for podcasting. Um, you're able to rent out the space for depending on how many sessions you want to film and for how long. You will coordinate that with their team and you can reach out to them through social media. Y'all know how much I love me some food. I'm ready to order. Thank you so much. All right, so looking through, I see there's a bunch of teas. I feel like I do tea a bit too much. I think we're gonna try something different today. Um, I heard that the specialty coffees are good. Milkshake looks good too. Let's do a specialty coffee. Um, caramel grease seems like a good idea. And then for food, um, there's so many delicious options, but I was recommended to try the Caribbean jerk chicken. So I think we're gonna do that. But from scrolling through, ooh, there's so many great options. I see fish, I love fish. <laughs> Yuji and fish just go hand in hand, I swear. Um, but yeah, let's do the Caribbean jerk chicken and we'll do a caramel brew. This looks so refreshing, okay. God, that's so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> and it's been so hot in Kampala lately, like this is everything. Looks so good. This looks so good. Thank you. Oh, it smells delicious, you guys. <laughs> All right, let's bite in. Like I've been eating jerk chicken my whole life. Living in Toronto, we're so multicultural. Grew up with so many different types of people. So obviously Jamaican. They take over the world. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. I love the fact that in Uganda, you always get fresh food, always. This is some delicious chicken, you guys. So I'm just gonna enjoy my meal here and uh, then we'll explore some more of the outdoor space. That meal was absolutely delicious. It was really, really good. And also wanted to mention that there are some really interesting leaders and heroes on the wall. In the cafe, there are various black leaders and activists. So starting off with Queen Muhumuza, who was Randiz, and she was a spiritual leader, warrior queen, and fighter of colonialists. Followed by Claudia Jones, an American and Trinidadian activist and black nationalist. Queen Nzinga, an Angolian great woman leader who fought against slave trade and a European influence as well. 
There's also Wangari Maathai, a Kenyan who persistently fought for democracy, human rights, and environmental conservation. Fela Kuti, who was a Nigerian multi-instrumentalist, band leader, composer, political activist, and pan-Africanist. Next, there's Winnie Mandela, known as a very famous South African anti-apartheid African and politician. And of course, the really big piece, a beautiful portrait of Thomas Sankara, a pan-Africanist and former president of Burkina Faso. And he's known as Africa's Che Guevara. The space here at Sankara Library and Cafe has so much artistry. I forgot to mention earlier, all the sketches were done by a wonderful, talented artist in Jinja. We have the really beautiful piece inside of Thomas Sankara by Wamala, an artist that actually is featured in very many different places throughout Kampala. So if you've ever seen them, definitely link below. Tell me what other places. Um, I have seen Sky's Hotel, so that's a little bit of a shout out. And this gorgeous piece behind me done by an artist named Marvin, contact below as well. The space is gorgeous. There's so much greenery, outdoor space, like I mentioned earlier. You guys, you can really come out here and just enjoy a book. And a meal! I love it. <laughs> we had so much fun exploring here at Sankara Library and Cafe, you guys. There's a plethora of books, so much to do here from the screening room and the podcast to enjoying your meals and a little bit of a drink as well. And just the beautiful outdoor space, the quietness of Bugolobi because it is at the top of the hill. It's a bit quiet out here and a lot of greenery. Just wanted to mention they're open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and you can find them at 2, 2A Lufulu Rise um, in Bugolobi and all of their contact information is at their Instagram which you'll find also in the description box below. I think that is everything I wanted to show you guys today. I'm going to now get a book, get cozy, get comfortable and enjoy the rest of my day. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please do remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification button and I will check you in my next video. Bye guys.